Make that a good picture. <laughs> I want to get it done. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We support you, sir. inside the Trump administration. This hey, hey I asked the sheriffs, can you imagine this? We have somebody in what I call the failing New York Times that's talking about he's part of the resistance within the Trump administration. This, person this is what we have to deal with. And, you know, the dishonest media, because you people deal with it as well as I do. But it's really a disgrace. Uh, I, I will say this. Nobody has done what this administration's done in terms of getting things passed and getting things through. A article was just printed, just came out a few minutes ago. Trump breaks the record for budget gridlock wins, scores big wins. So for 20 years, it's a 20-year record. For 20-year record, they call it the fouled up budget gridlock and scores big win. Here's your thing. So this just came out. So in 20 years, uh, it hasn't been like it is now. It's we broke, we broke it. That's just really positive stuff. And then in addition to that, point after point after point, if you look, uh, almost 4 million jobs created since the election, of which many of you Americans now employed than ever recorded in our history. So we have more people working today than at any point ever in our history. We've created 400,000 manufacturing jobs. Manufacturing jobs are growing at the fastest pace in more than 30 years. Economic growth last quarter was 4.2 percent. And as you people know, it was headed down big. And it was a low number, very low number. It would have been, in my opinion, it would have been less than zero. It was heading to negative numbers. New employment claims recently hit a, a think of that, the unemployment picture in the country is the best it's been in 49 years. African-American unemployment lowest in the history of our country. Asian-American unemployment lowest in the history of our country. Hispanic American unemployment, lowest in the history of our country. I mean, I'm just looking at these, just point after point. Uh, under my administration, veterans' unemployment reached its lowest in many, many years. The, uh, let's see, almost 3.9 million Americans have been lifted off food stamps just since my election. Then you go into all of the benefits that we got from the tax cuts. All of you people benefited tremendously from the tax cuts. Thank you, sir. You go into regulation cuts. You go into right to try. Right to try is where you have the right, if a person's terminally ill, you have a right to go and try and see whether or not uh, a drug that's uh, not approved yet can be used and utilized. They didn't allow that. A point after point, getting rid of the individual mandate, the most unpopular thing there is in Obamacare, coming up with new health care plans. We've never had a period, even if you look at the Olympics, got the Olympics, the uh, World Cup just got, you just saw them, they were in my office, got the World Cup. Nobody has, and we have started the wall. Nobody has ever done in less than a two year period what we've done. So when you tell me about some anonymous source within the administration, probably who's failing, and probably here for all the wrong reasons. Now, and the New York Times is failing. If I weren't here, I believe the New York Times probably wouldn't even exist. And, and someday, let me just tell you, and someday when I'm not president, which hopefully will be in about six and a half years from now, the New York Times and CNN and all of these phony media outlets We'll be out of business, folks. They'll be out of business because there'll be nothing to write and there'll be nothing of interest. So nobody has done what this administration has done. And I agree, it's different from an agenda, which is much different than ours, and it's certainly not your agenda, that I can tell you. Thank you. It's about open borders. 
It's about letting people flee into our country. It's about a disaster and crime for our country. So they don't like Donald Trump, and I don't like them because they're very dishonest people. Remember this also about The New York Times. When I won, they were forced to apologize to their subscribers. They wrote a letter of apology. It was the first time anybody's ever done it because they covered the election incorrectly. So if the failing New York Times has an anonymous editorial, can you believe it? Anonymous, meaning gutless, a gutless editorial. Uh, we're doing a great job. The poll numbers are through the roof. Our poll numbers are great. And guess what? Nobody is going to come close to beating me in 2020 because of what we've done. We've done more than anybody ever thought possible in — it's not even two years. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.